Hello and welcome to another YouTube video of mine, thank you. Today I'm going to be reviewing this blue driver. What I like about these new devices, these Bluetooth adapters, is it's very light, it's compact, I can leave it in my pocket. I don't need my um, suitcase with all my laptop and my wiring and all of that nonsense. These little devices, they give you comprehensive diagnostic for your vehicle. This one's got a really good review, so I'm going to go ahead and give, give my opinion on it and what I think as a mechanic, how useful this is, what sort of information and program it can do. These are under up, these new OBD Bluetooth adapters. So this one here is really good. It's like got very good reviews overseas. I'm going to be checking this out in UK. I'm going to check it out on an Audi. I'm just going to do a quick unboxing of this device. This blue driver. It's a Canadian company. It works on Google Play. Made for iPhone, iPad as well. So it can work with iOS as well. The vehicle they could do is North American vehicles. It could do so vehicles in Europe. It could do vehicles sold in Australia, New Zealand. Vehicles sold in other countries, so that must be in the Japanese country. So let's quickly get into this. Let me open that. And nothing fancy. Comes with some sort of card. Just a device to get started. Okay, guys, got my device, got my phone. That's the only two things I need. Let's head on over to the car and try out the device. The instructions are here, so I'm going to read the instructions as I go ahead and do it. So let's go to the car and try this out. I'm going to be doing this blue driver on my Audi A4 1.8 TFSI. So as usual, what we need to do, OBD plug, which mines is there, and you get your hardware. And we go and put it in there, so that's the way it should be going in comes with this instruction here so to get started download blue driver app which I've already done on my phone it's got start ignition put in plug sensor which we did so if you're Apple or Android launch up enable Bluetooth press connect allow location service press scan tools and select blue driver pair sensor that doesn't seem hard. Let's go ahead and have a try on that. Go ahead and install this. And let it download and then we let it open. So we go to our Bluetooth device in our connection and we see blue driver down here. We select this and it would say pairing as per instructions. Once it's paired, we press OK and connect to your sensor. There we go, guys. We're in in a matter of seconds. So, I see it's got a very nice interface, it's very easy, and it's just got a connect there. So, connecting to a sensor. So, when your vehicle's already in, found Bluetooth, and then you go in. I could see that once it's connected, I could see it's got a very easy, easy interface. It says connected there, so that means it's, if you look on the top uh, left hand corner, just under blue driver, it says connected, so that means your vehicle's being connected. So read codes, clear codes, save reports, freeze frame, smog check, mode 6, mail status. So let's just go in and read codes. So it's picked up my thing. Zero codes found. The vehicle did not report any trouble codes. Input your odometer reading to add it to save report. Nope, I don't want to do that, so I'll continue. So, this is an Audi, so this is a kind of 2013 clear codes. If I wanted to do that, live data, no data source to graph, please select one. So you do, 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 just going around user manual contactors 
So, well, it's got a live chat. That's really a good frequently asked question. So, customer services on this apparently is meant to be really good. So, they got social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So, communications are going to be very well connected. So, that's good to know. More contact, user manual. Oh, that will take you somewhere online. Update sensor, order sensor, rate review. Um, that's how best to stick to. Just part here, clear code, save report, freeze frame. If I turned on my car, it does have a lot of things, but this is the first time I've used it, so I wouldn't know how everything works. But I could see down here timing advance for cylinder one. If it gives me that information, that's really good. Helpful for timing chain to see if it's stretched or not. The one that says OE uh, intake temperature to do a lot of diagnostics. So this is very useful. Absolute throttle position, um, fuel pressure. But this thing is. Am I meant to be getting some data here or something? Okay, smoke check. So check engine light. So it's got all of this on a smoke check. So if we press scan and then wow that's really good. Check engine light is off. No confirmed treble codes. Misfire that was really quick as well. So that's very very good. Misfire comprehensive component EGR test is complete. So there's something with explanation mark here. Vehicle has not yet completed this test. It's just basically does a test for all all systems basically misfire test is complete no nope, there's nothing fuel system seems fine so my car i would need to really do a review on this or with a car that's got many faults so i could get a bit more from it but this is the first time i've used this and um it's looking promising to me it's got all information that i need and that smoke test is really really essential for a lot of mechanics for anybody to be honest nowadays with these sort of devices. Mode 6, let's see what Mode 6 is about. Oxygen sensor monitor bank 1. So as you could, guys could read, it's just giving you some ticks of everything on the Mode 6 oxygen sensors. This is more thing. And then acceptable range 0 to 1.5. So catalytic, uh, my, something seems not correct with my Catalytic converter has come up a few times, so I may need to look into that. Purge flow meter, manufacturer defined test ID. Unlike VAG or something or OBD11, we could go in and get actual ranges, acceptable values. So I can't really see I could do anything else with this other than it tells me there's something question mark, there might be something wrong. Formatting on. Formatting on is the acceptable value, actual value that's on my on my um vehicle so acceptable range is three and a half value is 15.25 so acceptable range is from three and a half to six five five and i'm at 15.2215.25 so that's within range so that's why it's got a tick here whereas the question mark is purge flow monitor there's nothing because and there's probably um no data for that so if i turned it off it's giving you nothing so that's really good and it's got a lot of misfire cylinder a lot of information so a mechanic that knows how to use data this is really useful I must say so what's this one mill status runtime distance how long it's been just a little a few bits and bobs vehicle information okay don't need that service you don't need to be connected to vehicle to see service options just enter the VIN okay so oil reset so this is really really good what we need nowadays so our oil reset like step-by-step -step instructions service description most common vehicles are equipped with a service reminder that will let you know you need to based on miles 
was this information helpful? So, standard procedure, okay. Press and hold the trip button. So, it's just telling you how to do it. So, we can't actually like function this one in so it's just giving you basic information on how to reset the data so this is like uh, ignition off hold the counter key in turn the ignition lock and that's how we do it but with some newer vehicles now i think we need to have it programmed in so i can't see there's any option the way you could have a program in it or set it to do it gpms sensor that's another one so it says turn the ignition allow the vehicle to sit for 20 minutes drive the vehicle so that's very good to know but a very very good thing about this blue driver is guys i need to go in and check and show you guys what other vehicles it does hi guys as you see i did a um, unboxing and review of this blue driver and i must say i'm very very impressed with this device and i could see why it's got such good reviews in the us but me trying it in the UK, I must say it's got it, it, it's got a lot of things on there that I could see as a mechanic myself I could use and it's got a lot of data that I could use to fault find and um, I did that on my Audi but the beauty about this device is it does Mercedes, it does BMWs and all the other general vehicles so that's good to know so there's a, as you may not know there's not a lot of diagnostics that you could go straight in with a device like this into um, the car and off your phone and get all that information then grabbing your suitcase of all your devices and everything so it's very essential for me it is anyway um, I'm not being sponsored or anything I wish I was but I must say that for me this is really really good for what I've seen that what it could do so of course there's like downfall I've seen for um, on the Audi for example there wasn't much programming I could do but I don't need that that I've got OBD 11 for that or I've got my VCDS but we had the basic service checks and all of that but it did have a lot of information that when I compared the UTEL it couldn't do like give me life day string on over uh, for example the timing stretch so it didn't give me cylinder one bank intake but this did so that's good to know so it's come out of Canada and Canadians are good people it's got a setup of good customer services as well so I think that's good as well but overall sums up please like and subscribe my videos I could bring you more videos like this thank you very much stay tuned